Alright guys, I am back, and I did some house cleaning, um, well, yeah, kinda. Well, we got four, um, stacks of, I think, I believe they're common rares, and then we got four more stacks of foils. So yeah, let's just jump right in, um, I don't wanna make this video super long like the first part. So I'll just go through, and if I need to flip cards, I will have to flip cards. <laughs> um, but most of them are the cards that we already seen before, so I'm just gonna go through. Uh, Prideful Roar, we actually didn't see that. Icarus Attack, not a bad rare. Or a common. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are all cards that we've seen already. Um, let me flip those. Mild Turkey, uh, go home. Thanksgiving's already over. <laughs> Anyways, got some older cards here too. Heavy Storm, uh, Ancient Rules. It's not bad. I'm not gonna flip these. You guys know what these are. Uh, number 65. That's pretty cool. I really want to get into the foils because that's where all the good stuff are. And probably you guys are gonna agree with me because in the past couple of videos, or two videos to be exact, man, were they crazy. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't think the guy really cared, but hey, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. Got a bunch of good hollows and everything, some old school cards, and I'm one of those collectors. I'm more of a collector than a player uh, for the card game. Oh, nice! We got a Dark Paladin in common. So I just like to collect things, um, you know, just keep it in my collection and everything. So sometimes I might not have anything that's super expensive, but they're very old school stuff, and I like that. So we got some Silent Swordsman action going on. Shooting Doji. Nice. Alright, so that is it for that common stack. And I'm just gonna set that aside. Let's go into this one. Uh, let's go. What's this? Half of this. Yeah, I'll just do this and flip these around. Because I know that a lot of these are gonna be upside down. Um, yeah, sorry if it takes me a while because I don't want to flip it again more than once, actually. Alright, that one should be good. So let's, let's go through it. So, a bunch of stuff we've seen already. So, I'm not gonna take too long on that. Ritual of Grace. I think we pulled the ritual one in the first part. Got more of the. Star deck staples here. Uh, Viking Avatar, Arvada. So moving to Circuit Break. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Alright. So that's that. And. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot to flip these around. Oh man, I'm terrible. Well, let's just go through. These are um, from Megatons. Okay. So, not bad. So, flip all of these. We got a couple of dark bribes here. It's not bad. Huh, okay. We got. I thought that was a super rare. Usually, that's a super rare from a pack, uh, but it's a common. So, alright, that is it for that. Back. And you know what? I'm just gonna go through all the commons and we'll go into the foils. So that way we can have a lot more fun. Get out all of these. Just gonna go through. Oh, this one's a McDonald pack one. That's pretty cool. Uh, Elemental Brush and Tricks. Oh, it's Moss Reborn. But yeah, finding some pretty old McDonald cards in here too. Very nice. Um, because I don't think those are around anymore. Um, unless if some people still have them in like, I don't know, old school collections. But they're not worth that much of a value, but they're still pretty cool overall. Unstable Evolution. Remember that card? Alright, let's just jump in. 
Um, not gonna take the time to flip them anymore, unless if it's a lot like this. And yeah, I'll probably flip these. Um, what are these? These are older set cards. I wonder. Oh, that's from the Legendary Collection 5Ds. And there's some of the, from the original packs too. It's not bad. Alright. So, one more stack of commons and rares, and I swear I will get into the foils. You guys can feel free to skip the video too. I mean, if you guys want to. I'm not gonna hold you guys back or anything like that. Um, Burning Bamboo Sword, that's a nice short print. So, uh, you guys probably take a look at that. Oh, Mathematician, not bad. Got a common honest. More blue eyes. Um, let's flip those. Sage of Silence. I think that goes. Also comes in a ultimate rare as well. Here we have more of the staples from the starter deck. Should be the last deck of <coughs> commons. So let's see. Uh, it's not gonna take the time to flip that. Um, oh, it's a Bloom Prima, the Melodious Choir. Okay. Yeah, those are up all side down or upside down there. Those are from Circuit Break. And these are from Code of the Duelist. So yeah, you guys probably don't want to see those as much anymore. Um, Rune Ice Common. Okay, it's funny to see it as a common. And yeah, that's all the comments, mostly from Code of the Duelist. Alright, so a ton of cards fell over and I had to pause the video and sort them all out. So yeah, um, I am back with... We're jumping into the foil packs now. That's what we were doing. And I'm really excited to check them out. So let's, let's go. Um, actually, I thought these were foils, but... Okay, it's a mix. Um, so that's totally fine. Ooh, I see something interesting popping up. Some more comments until we hit this. I don't know what that is. No, oh, that looks like an ink splatter mark right there on the card. So somebody at Konami <laughs> was sleeping on the job. Alright, let's see here. Orpheus Scorpio, that's actually a very good rare. Alright, so I thought that was the common, or the end of the commons, but, oh man, we got, uh, what's this, Imperion Magnum, the Superconductor Battlebot, oh man, that's a super long name, we got some first edition, the Shining Darkness, Blackwing Breeze, a Zephyr, not bad, oh, Legendary Fisherman 3, oh, these are all flipped, Cyber Twin Dragon, Seeker, uh, we got some other cool cards, Doomvise Dragon, Mare Force Dragon, Got Blackwing Jet, the Blue Sky. Uh, some other cards here. From Battles of Legend. Cosmo Dark Lady. That's a good card. Throw that down there. And we got the Earthbound Immortal uh, uh, Kapak Apu. Uh, it's the Giant. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's cool. I like myself some uh, cool Earthbound Immortal cards to add to my collection. And I think we're back to um, commons and rares, so it's not entirely bad. Uh, let me sort those out. So foils in another stack. And right, so let's take a look at this one. Let's just go through this one's a smaller one. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. This guy's Berserkion, the Mag Electromagnetic Warrior. Or, yeah, something along those lines. Wonder Wand Ultra. That's that's a very good um, Ultra right there. 
Ultimate Rare First Edition White Chimera, man, and uh, TG Blade Blaster. So, bring back the old school cards. Oh, nice a Zephra Tubon. That's a um, original Ultra Rare Vanity's Fiend. That's cool. That's a very nice Ultra Rare from Battles of Legend. Got dual terminal stuff. Fistron stuff. X. X Saber Fultral. Um, the guy cards. Nice. Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician. Thunder Unicorn. No way. No. <laughs> Ultimate Rare. Red Nova Dragon. Uh, first Edition. No freaking way. That is amazing. And we got some uh, older cards here. We got Gear Free, the Iron Knight. Dark Hunter. Summons Gold. I got this from um, another collection that I bought off eBay 400. So I got another one. That is cool. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. And we got Lila. We got Shin or Shinato, King of a Higher Plane. Um Wow. I, I'm speechless. That that is such a good card too. <clears throat> Back in the old days. And we got Wavering Eyes. Not bad. Uh, we got ooh, these are uh, the special editions. And then this one's the original. Oh wait, no, these are the ultra rares. Okay, uh, so they're like the sneak preview, I believe. Not quite sure on that, but um, anyways, got Metal Morph, Premium Pack, Question, Battlestorm, Ultra Rare, nice. All right, got Scapegoat, man, Scapegoat in today's Link meta. That that's really funny. It it's just really broken. I feel like Scapegoat's gonna get hit on the balance too. So, oh, and there goes my friend. Told him that I found him, um, picked up a collection, and oh, nice, we got Slife for the Sky Dragon from the movie pack. Um, but yeah, I told my friend I got a, my collection in today. Um, and yeah, we got some special editions, or uh, no, no, no uh, promos, the sneak peek uh, promos. So those are all the foils from that stack. And I, yeah, I think. <laughs> Yeah, my cards are going to fall over, so I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to clean up a bunch of cards. I am literally holding on to, like, a stack of cards on the side. You guys probably can't see it, but I'll be back. All right, guys. So, a uh, bunch of cards fell over and got mixed in the uh, pile here. So, yeah, I actually I was able to find um, which cards that were mixed in, and I took them out already. Uh, the one that we already reviewed. But I didn't really see much of what was left in here. But these are the last two stacks that were um, on the table before everything fell over. And to give you guys an idea of what the cards are or how it looks like on my desk. Yeah, it's like that. But I took like half of this. So imagine half of this added on to here. So yeah, I just had some bad stack maintenance there in the last part. And everything fell over. So yeah, let's continue on. Um... Enough of my rambling, but we got some, uh, ooh, nice. Number 86, Hero Champion, uh, Ragno Miniad. I think that's how I pronounce his name. Uh, so, that's really cool. Remember, that card used to be really hyped uh, when it first came out. Alright, let's just keep going until I see something good. These are Super Rares. Uh, Spirit Warrior. Super Rares, too. So, so reprints. Got some Battles of Legend cards in here. Oh, nice. A uh, number 46 Dragalong and a Nitro Warrior Ultimate Rare. Uh, so, put that down. Some cool pulls, man. Alright, so. Oh, nice. Uh, Ascetism of the Six Samurai. Alright, put the foil stack onto the side. Let's grab this stack right here. Uh, what do we have? Bujinki Amaterasu. That's a good secret. It's a Mega 10 card. Uh, number 107, Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon. Oh, nice. Uh, number 101. Probably throw that one down, too. It's really cool. So, here's some number cards. Very nice. Like myself, some uh, old school numbers. Number 22, that's actually uh, Raging Tempest Special Edition. Oh, nice. A uh, number 9, Dyson Sphere. Diabound Colonel, that's from Dula Saga. Alright, let's see what else we have. Voltic Bicorn. Diffusion Wave Motion from Rise of Destiny. 
That's a, uh, I think it was a promo for one of the special editions. All right, so that is it for that stack. Let's jump into this one. So we're starting off with a Cyber Angel Natasha. There's like a little splatter of ink up here. Let's see what we get in this one. Hero Champion uh, Gendiva. Oh, nice. The Hero Flame Wing or Flame Wing Man. Yeah, secret rare. That one goes for a couple bucks. Nice. A Fire Formation Tanky. And we got some other cool cards here. Fallen Paradise. Wow, another miscut. Very nice. And we got oh, nice two number C thirty nine Utopia Ray Victories. That down, those are both first edition. Cyber Dark Dragon, nice. And a Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, cool. Oh, what is this? A Dejin Desiree of Rituals. So when you ritual summon a ritual monster, you can remove from play this card from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. Uh, the monster ritual summon using this card is not affected by trap cards. Okay, that's, that's worth um, looking into. And oh, we got number 17 Leviathan Dragon. And I think we got a couple more ultimate rares there too. So we got number 20, number 9, number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, number 10, and number 32 Shark Drake. Wow, look at those ultimate rares right there. And I think, the, wow, they're all first editions too. That is crazy. No way. What? And here we go. We got some uh, other. Uh, Synchro Monsters here. That's that's very cool. Some older one, Ultimate Zulkin. Dark and Dragon. Wow, you can see the secret go through all that. Shooting Quasar, that's from the Legendary Collection. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. I thought that one looked like an Ultimate Rare. That's actually an Ultra Rare, so that's very nice. And a Super Rare one. Ooh, Stars Dragon uh, from Shadow Spectre's Special Edition. So those are worth um, a couple of bucks there. Gravity World and Wa Chimera. Whoops. I think, I think I actually got Wa Chimera in here too, but it's an ultimate rare. Alright, so here's the last stack of cards. Let's see what else we can find in here. So hopefully we can get something amazing. 100 Eyes Dragon, Constellar Star Cradle. It's a dual terminal card. Dragon Shrine, that's a pretty good super rare. Neo Bloy's Ultimate Dragon, nice. Got another Utopia. Fallen Paradise again. Uh, Queen Dragon de Jin. This one is actually worth a couple dollars too. Put that down. Another Neo Blaze. <laughs> wow, that's that's amazing. I uh, got another Buzzer Blader, the Dragon Destroyer. Actually, two. Ah, uh, they're from Breakers of Shadow. Not bad. Nice Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. Elemental Hero Escarado. That's a uh, Star Pack uh, foil or Star Foil rare. Uh, Mascara Blast and nice and. First edition Elemental Hero Dark Neos from its original pack. That's in good condition too. Vision Hero Trinity First Edition. That is at least eight dollars. Wow. Um, Absolute Zero Great Tornado. Wow, just some like so many great Elemental Hero cards. Evil Hero Infernal Sniper Cyberblader Chimera Attack. And the last card is Go 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 Golem. Wow. And that is amazing. Um. Just because there's so much cards out from this uh, entire collection, um, I'm gonna do a final recap in a different video. Yeah, like just from that, this part, it's this much. And I guess I can total up how much the collection is actually worth. Um, but that's gonna take me a while, so I'll just end it here. But yeah, guys, I had a blast. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys had some popcorn. You know, this it's been crazy. But yeah, guys. This is Arrow Dragon, and I'm signing out. And I'll be back with the recap.